Caddis Maximus here. Just did a video uh, about a 12 ounce Blue Point ball peen hander and actually picked up the Stanley Professional Hickory. So I guess it's Professional Hickory, but apparently the hammerhead isn't. No, just kidding. Uh, this is a much more modern Stanley. It is made in Mexico, it is an American made. One of the things that is annoying is we can see that they've epoxied the handle in, so they don't do something similar. Here's a more old-school vintage 6-ounce Stanley. Well, they use the traditional staple, so if the handle breaks, it's pretty easy to replace. This is, and the handles are round. This is using kind of some square deal here. We can see that the top is just a bit rough. They used to, Stanley and pretty much any decent hammer, they'll do this Well, they'll sand the top of it so it just has a bit of smoothness and evenness rather than having this, this kind of ugly cup. So it is um, more cheaply made than they used to be. Another piece of evidence showing how these are more cheap is the grind. You can see they have one grind here and they have a second one here. And if you look, it's actually coming to a kind of a sharp point right there where they used to focus and make just a bit better of an effort to have it be a real round ball. If we really compare this old school Stanley to this new one, you can really see that it isn't, this is not quite as spherical as this style. Other than that, I assume it's still forged head. You know, it is me uh, made in Mexico, so at least it's still North American made, so it should still be pretty decent. Hickory handle, I don't know why they went with black, maybe so. Uh, it doesn't look quite as nasty of staining over the years like the older school ones did. But definitely not quite as nice as the American made ones. And, you know, of course, this one they do stamp the size into the head so and the model number. So it's really stands the test of time here. It's just silk screen and will wear off in no time. And once again, they don't sand the top of it. And then that epoxy, that just makes it a nightmare. Because if this handle breaks, you got to try to find a handle that a square type handle. It's easier to find the round ones, and you got to go through a whole bunch of effort to try and like drill and pound out the the remainder that's in the head. So that's just a little bit disappointing, especially for something that they is quote unquote their professional series. Anyway, just want to make a little video about this Stanley. This is the fifty four oh one six ball peen ham 16 ounce ball peen hammer really appreciate everybody's been watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do until next time cat is maximus out